Whoa, that looks so, that looks like restaurant quality. Dip. So fresh. And like fluffy, mm. yeah. I friend Sho and Jury are here and Sho is a really good chef so he's gonna teach us how to make chicken karage. We were <laughs> I wanna say so much of a uh, I'm a more of a home cook. <laughs> Not a chef. <laughs> karage. Yeah, chicken kara chicken karage. Puma, come here. Where's Puma? Puma. Oh, are you camera shy? I know. He's afraid of my camera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is meeting. Oh, okay. This is meeting, so we're good. Yeah, it says meeting. Yeah, meeting, yeah. <laughs> oh, and uh, sake, cooking sake? Oh, this is not the same thing? No, no. This is sweet cooking sake, but we have like, just like normal cooking like sake. It's okay. It's okay. This will, it'll, it'll work. I have mirin too, like the, just mirin. This is with mirin. It says right here. But it's not cooking sake either. Yeah, it's a sweet cooking sake. It's like it, it has like the uh, the sugar sweetness oh, to it, and then so there's cooking sake like is just like just just sake. sake, just just sake. I don't know everything. Yeah, don't worry about it. So it's really easy. Honestly, you can leave the fat on there because like it's. It, I think the fat part is the flavor, right? So it, you want to just basically cut these into like large chunks. They're all gonna be fried, so yeah. it's not a big deal. I feel so lucky this mm -hmm. is someone else is cooking today. Yeah, right? <laughs> you can kind of be generous with this. Um, I believe it's three tablespoons. One, three, and maybe just a little bit, huh? Mirin. You haven't used this in a while, have you? <laughs> <laughs> One tablespoon and a little bit maybe, just like the flavor. Perfect. Normally you would use uh, um, sake, cooking sake. We don't have it, so we're just gonna leave it out. Maybe two cloves of garlic. You can just cut it up or you can just uh, microblade it here. It's, it's however you wanna use it. Microblading is really easy. And we're just making our marinade right now. So we're just gonna leave it in, in this like juicy marinade for about, I don't know, if possible, like 30 minutes. You can always eat, keep it longer. So this chicken karag is really good with, with like alcohol. Like in a so hot summer and you want a little appetizer, like a nice cold, cold beer. beer or you know, something like that, it'll be perfect with this. So after this, you want to add a little bit of uh, uh, like a umami flavor to it. So we're, today, we're, I guess we're using uh, some, not this. Michelle, what do you normally use? I would normally use uh, ajinomoto or, or an umami seasoning that you can get, um, or people might call it MSG. <laughs> 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 but today we'll be using a, a mushroom all-purpose seasoning. It's a, it's a again, mushrooms are has a lot of umami flavor, so we can use that. Get some in here. Just give it a one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe six shakes of it. Um, we also want to add some nutmeg. I highly, highly recommend using uh, some ground nutmeg for this. It adds that like spiciness to it, a little, little, little spice when you bite into it. It's, this is highly recommended, you want to use this. Wow. One, two, three, four. Mix your soy sauce, chicken, everything, massage it in together. After everything's mixed up here, we're gonna just let it sit and uh, marinate for, again, that's uh, more than about 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. Uh, and again, you want to make sure, you want to keep this out in the fridge, marinate out in uh, room temperature. Uh, you want the chicken to be uh, room temperature as much as possible. Who bought it? What is it? Could I have strawberry where we can have cho uh, chocolate? This is all, it's, uh, avocado oil. That's a high, what you call it, like a smoke point, so it's good for frying too, it's okay. We're not trying to deep fry it here, we're just trying to get enough so it maybe covers like half of the chicken when you put it, place it in. This is hot. I'm gonna put it in like a medium heat. We're gonna get the uh, oil around, I don't know, 250 uh, degrees, 270 degrees, something like that. Do we have a... Yeah. So we got some uh, potato starch. It's what we're gonna be using for our karage. That should be good. Uh... Alright, so we have our, our chicken marinating. Um, it should be about room temperature now. Um, we also got the, the oil warming up right now. So once it's the temperature, we're gonna start dredging. Not dredging, uh, coating our chicken chicken with our potato starch, and then once we're ready, we'll go ahead and get it fried up. You, what you want to do, make sure you do, is when you grab your chicken, make sure you squeeze out or like squeeze out all the uh, 
the excess uh, juices. Normally you want some a lot of uh, wetness, but this time to make it the outside very, how do you say, like juicy and um, how do you say, the, the outside very soft, not too crispy. This is the best way to do it. Drop it in your potato starch, coat it. I honestly like a lot of coat. So I can squeeze all the juice out. Go ahead and coat these. Really easy recipe, you know, cooking time is anywhere between what, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So how come you're using potato starch versus... The more, more than cornstarch or something like that, I think... Or like all-purpose flour? All-purpose flour. I think the texture of the, uh, of the potato starch is, is different. Crunchier? It's actually not crunchy. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. it doesn't get super crunchy. It's actually, it gives it just like a, a light coat. You can use cornstarch or like uh, maybe like some mochi, like things on it to make it oh. more texture. Um, but okay. typically you want to keep your dry hand and wet hands separately. Who doesn't like fried chicken, right? <laughs> Alright, so it's about a 240 to 50 right now. Good temperature. Again, we're not deep, deep frying it. We're just make sure we have enough uh you know to cover just the one good one side you know you typically want to be above 300 three you know 315 320 but this time you want to do like a medium heat and go ahead and uh, start putting it in here yeah. there we go again you won't see a lot of uh water bubble in here but you know, we'll just go ahead and place it you don't want to overcrowd your 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 fry pot so we'd probably do this in two batches here and okay, we're just gonna let it fry uh, make sure we're getting fry on both sides uh, you don't have to like move it around a lot. Just leave it alone, and then when it seems like it's cooking at all, just go ahead and flip it when you when it looks well. Have a good color. If you have these, uh, if you have the temperature of the of the oil too hot, the chicken karage the, the the outside will burn. It will become black. Um, the potato starts kind of burns really easily. Whoa, that looks. So that looks like restaurant quality. Do you use togarashi? Uh, you can if you like. Um, but again, I think simply using mayo and like uh, and just uh, some how do you say it? some mayonnaise or a cubey uh -huh. mayo, uh -huh. it's gonna be spot. It has like that signature like yeah, right? crispy, but. It has like a white kind of coating yeah, on yeah, it, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So again, that's because of the, the potato starch I'm using. Uh, instead of using our flour, oh. yeah. You want to make sure you let it sit and rest for about two, three minutes. Um, the fry is going to continue to cook. Yeah. Again, if you can, you can make this for your friends at a party, you know it's going to be a good finger food. There you go. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put a little bit of a shimmy to give it a little color and a little spice and a little flavoring. <laughs> All right. Elmo's gonna join us here too. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab some lemon. Dip. Mmm. Wow, right, look at that. It's so juicy. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, even though I made it, I know. <laughs> it's so good. Definitely something to try here. Show you can take over my cooking show. No. <laughs> Who thinks Show should have a cooking show? Hmm. I like support. I said, I'm a home cook. <laughs> this looks amazing. Yeah, please try. Can I try that one? Oh, yeah, this is a uh, the sriracha this is mayo. The sriracha mayo. All right, sriracha mayo aioli. Mm. So the texture is like mm. really like soft. So fresh. And like fluffy, mm. yeah. It's so good with that. Oops, sorry. And it's really good again. In I Japan, love it. you want to eat it with a lot of cabbage because a lot of fry food, mm -hmm. cabbage, a lot of fresh, fresh greens. Mm -hmm. That would be good with it. Delicious. The recipe will be in the description box down below. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you, Show, yeah. for cooking for us. Of course. Bye. Bye. Thanks, guys.